Today I'm looking to answer if the inverted method or the normal method with the AeroPress makes better coffee. I've been told, I actually, <laughs> I was at CoffeeCon, it was a little coffee convention that was cool, and the AeroPress's inventor, Alan Adler, was there, and he spoke about the AeroPress and his favorite way to brew with it. He thinks that the inverted method is bogus and actually makes coffee that doesn't taste as good. Even though in all the competitions out there or over the world, you're seeing people doing it with the inverted method. So I'm here to just find out if that's true or not. Is inverted really that bad or, you know, is the normal way even worse? So I'm just going to start off. I already pre-wet my filters. I'm going to start off with the normal method. So that's right side down. And the reason I have it on a scale here is so I can uh, replicate the same amount of water with the inverted. I'm using 175 degrees Fahrenheit water. Also something that Alan Adler and the manufacturer of the AeroPress, which I guess is him, recommend. So I normally, just to show you if I can, I normally pour to the two. And I don't really do any pre-infusion or bloom with this method. Because Alan Adler didn't say he had to. So let me just this back on the scale and now I'm going to stir it so 117 grams of water so that's what we want to do for the inverted cup so I'm going to give this a quick few stirs and press okay so I'll be back on the other end after I'm done with this get started on the inverted cup so obviously one of the issues with this experiment is that I'm not brewing both cups of coffee simultaneously. The good news is that the AeroPress is extremely easy to clean and very quick. So I finished brewing the first cup in the normal method about, I'd say maybe a minute and a half ago. So I'm already ready to go with inverted. As you can see, it's upside down, hence inverted. The cap is not on yet, which is one of the differences. So I'm just gonna pour 117 grams of water and keep in mind this is the same temperature water same amount of coffee 20 grams okay almost perfect went two grams over. So now I'm going to stir quickly, make sure all the ground coffee is getting wet. You can see on the bottom there might be some dry coffee. So this is another inconsistency. Maybe I'm not stirring as fast or as many times across both cups, but what can you do? Okay, so I, I, I'm not going to be able to do this while holding the camera, so I'm going to put this down, and when I come back, I'll do the taste test. So clearly I have some preconceived no notions and biases, and I did like the standard method better. I picked up immediately a really pleasant aroma, chocolatey rich. This one, not so much, the inverted cup. And taste-wise, this was much smoother than this one. I tasted more bitterness in this cup. Uh, something I do want to do, though, before I finish off this experiment slash taste test, is to just top both cups up. Off, rather. This is what I normally do. I, I tend to... 
pour hot water almost to the top because it is really heavily concentrated, or I should say highly concentrated coffee. So just going to taste real quick. Okay, well, when the water's added, I, I don't pick up on too many differences, but just by itself, this one was the better cup. So that's the standard method. So I guess Alan Adler, for the time being, is correct in my mind. Maybe I'm biased, and I know that this was a very informal experiment with lots of confounds, but that's what I'm sticking with for now. So try it on yourself, and let me know what you find.